What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Alone in the Dark with here, Carnby, Mr. Carnby. So, last time we left off, we were in this room trying to figure out the puzzle for this little locket right here. So, what we, uh, I looked, I looked, and I looked. So, here we are. We I did this part off screen because I found it out. I have to look for, connect the, this rot type thing in the wall so what i found out i looked there's three names there's william argase franklin mosig and i believe nora keith those three names right that's what i believe so there's this picture so i have to look for a starting artist colony i remember hearing about their disappearance must have been 15 years or more now all right so there's there's William Argies, there's Franklin Mosig, and there's Nora Keith. So I believe the numbers are 294. I think. 294. <laughs> Alright, 294. That's all I got. So, uh, do we have anything else we can look at? No. No. Uh,. Pearlstein's journal. All right, so I gotta look closer to the screen. I'm sorry, folks. I gotta see because I know there's has to be with the astrological signs and stuff like that. But goddamn, I can't look. Give me a second. Okay. So. I believe the numbers are 296, so what I f think it might be, I'm not sure, this is 100% uh, blinded, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I believe, I really do believe, that the uh, code is that, <laughs> that's it, <laughs> Got it. wow, okay, All right, <laughs> just switch one number. That's it. We're good. Ah, uh, no fucking way. Did it change again? What the frick? Oh, this is great. Oh shit. Okay. Dude. I'm literally scared to go forward. Oh god. What? Oh. What? Eels. Let's go. Whoa. All right. It's stained. It looks like some kind of rot. What the hell is going on? Uh, dude, Carnby, do I don't know, bro. All right. I think I've seen this somewhere. Oh, I see. No. Oh, okay. There was something in the commonplace book about this. Give me a second. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna. I'm not doing this correctly, but. Oh, I 
Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Uh, it's not telling me anything. No. Fuck. All right, give me a second, folks. I'm <laughs> Let me see if I can find something, because I have no idea. Okay. All right. Let me see if I get this. So, all right. Uh huh? I don't think I'm doing this correctly. God dang it. Uh I'm looking at the pu the picture of my phone to see how it's supposed to be, but Huh. Is it supposed to be right here? No. No. Okay, so I Okay, that's, that looks better. Huh. That's not working. It will be that. Am I missing something? Wait, dude. No. I mean, shit. Huh. What am I doing wrong, dude? I am not following this. No, that goes up here. No. Frick, dude. Shit, dude.
I'm sorry, folks. I'm looking at this right now because I've run out of ideas how to fucking do this. Yeah. Detective. Oh, my God. I don't look at my inventory, dude. I don't need. F oh. I need the key. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Did I miss something back here? I just want to know. No. Fuck. It's locked. I'm gonna look it up, folks. I'm so sorry. I can't freaking. Huh. Okay. So, ah, uh, got it. Kinda. Not really. So, you have to align the clocks. Ah, the edges too. The edges of the clock matters in this thing, dude. There you go. Everything matters. There you go. Fuck. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what does it say here? So it has to be four. Uh, 
Six. Hold on. Give me a second. So three, six, four. Start on three, six, four. Three, six, four. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. Four, three, six. <laughs> six, three, four. Dude, what the fuck? No, four, three. Oh my god. There you go. 643. Got it. <laughs> There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. All right. Jamie's room. This is our room. <laughs> Fuck. Dude. What the fuck is going on here? Whoa. Hello. Huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's memories. Yeah, I see that. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right. Fight monsters, dude. May nineteen twenty three, Monday. All okay, ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills. Looks like a little bit coffee. He's not. Tuesday, shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hopwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hopwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hopwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil powered the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. Holy shit. Hmm. There's something there. Ammo. Thank God. Okay, we're in a different dimension now. There's something here. More ammo. Health. I guess. Gin. There's no key here. Mm. I need the key. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, Eddie. Any enemies? I'm ready to fight. 
No? Okay. Locked. Good. Locked. Okay, there's nothing there. Jet key? Jetty key? means but okay jetty pistol ammo okay we're full okay oh hello whoa excuse me excuse me An enemy around here? There's something missing. You see? Yeah, we can't use that key, I guess. Something here. Cannot use it, okay. Okay, so it's very linear. There's nothing else, there's nowhere else I can go. came from okay oh hello frame dropped a little bit there am I missing something inside here that I can need to get yeah it's full I can't get more ammo here nope Oh, there's more stuff here. Okay. I'm a fool. Dude, what am I missing? Uh, Edward, can you tell me what it is? Because I, I don't know. Oh. I just lost a bullet right there trying to shoot that. All right, Eddie, my boy, where are we? What am I doing? What am I doing? You can go anywhere else. You can't. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, we were just inside there, but dude, what what am I what am I missing? There's 
something missing. Edward. Like that made a difference. Okay, let me see what's inside this house right here. Again. All right, because I there's something here that I need to get that I haven't fucking gotten yet. Oh! That's the key. Ah! Bingo. Okay, so I, like I said, I'm going this like I'm I'm going like in this game like blindly because I have no idea what's going on. A pipe. Okay, I'm I'm sticking with the hatchet. Crowbar. Health. I'm good with health. Stop! What I'm missing? Oh, there you go. Yes, Edward, we got it. Let's go back. Let's go back. What the fuck? Shit, dude. <laughs> what the freak, dude? Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me, man. Not funny. Yeah. Easy does it. What am I doing here? So damn dark. What am I doing here? God, dude, stop. Looks pretty weak. Huh, you tell me. Oh my god, stop.
Jesus Christ. Okay, that worked. First, I want to check these houses out, see if we have ammo, because we are running low. There's, yep. Check inside the house. Nice. Shovel. Okay, cool. Wait, am, am I dropping the... No. No. Give me the freaking hatchet. I'm using a shovel. Oh my god! Bruh! This game gives you fucking jump scares, man. Holy crap, dude. Don't do that to me again. to get out of this nightmare, man. Check every house. Hmm. Ooh, bunker type thing. Full of pistol ammo. Nothing of value inside here. Let's go. Oh, this thing's... Oh my god, okay, okay. I see. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. Sneaking is not an option, dude. Keep going like blasting bullets of 
the ante. Thank you. He was forgiving though. Very forgiving. I don't need a crowbar, dude. I want my hatchet. There's gotta be a way to get to the other side. Oh shit. More enemies. Fuck. I don't like the music, though. Ugh. Oh my god, okay. I get it. Oh my, dude. Check over here. Stop moving. Maybe I could get across. Okay. Go down for a minute. How do I turn it off though? Can't go that way, okay. Is it? Yep, okay, turn it off. What the fuck, dude? Wow. Wow. Okay. The world's on fire. The world is on fire, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fuck me, dude. Just slide down, really? Slide down. No wire. What? What? Tough cloth, okay. Yeah, come on, Carby. Okay, that worked. We're still in nightmare land. God dang it, man. When is this going to stop? Okay. Oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me?
We're not fighting that, are we, right? We're not fighting that thing. Okay. Go slowly, dude. It's a blind creature. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you my doing? My name is Edward Carnby. I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon Deseto. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. You idiot! Oh Christ in heaven! Can we get this now? knife for what reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge to act is in itself divine even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for, or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting, as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Damn, all right. Sitting room key. Is it? All right, folks, I'm just going to cut it out here. Thank you for watching. Stay frosted mental. Watch for the next video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, folks.